The 2024 Tesla holiday update is finally here, but not on the Cybertruck, on the Model Y. Let's go check it out. So Tesla always goes big with these holiday updates and this new one is going to make your Tesla a whole lot better. Let's go check them out. My Model Y right here is the 2023 model year. I bought it last year June and it's Hardware 3 or AI3 as they're calling it. So you can see the cameras, they're not red around the lens. So that's how you can tell when a car is Hardware 3 or Hardware 4. So this was my first Tesla, and as you can tell, I've done a lot to it, from the green calipers right there, to all the carbon fiber accents. Yeah, <laughs> this was my first Tesla, man, so I went all out with it. But you guys can check out all these accessories for all your Tesla models at tparts.com. Use the discount code LamarMK and save 10% at checkout. Now within the settings, we have a new option right here, seats. I think this is in the Cybertruck, I'm not sure. Um, so if we tap seats, look at this. You can see it's hard to reach over here to move the seats. Now you can control the passenger seat right here from the screen by pressing up or down. So look at this, see, seat is moving. I'm pressing it, press it back, see, seat is moving. Now that's pretty cool, man, that's cool. So if you can't reach over there, you can do it all on the screen right here. Here's another one, you now have Sirius XM. So for all you fans of Sirius XM, here you have it. You also get a 30 day free trial, so go make use of it. So TuneIn also received a huge update. Let's take a look. Here it is, you can see stuff is a lot more organized. Now you have music, podcasts, so it's way easier to find stuff using this tuning app. The icons are also smaller, so you can see a lot more stuff. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty cool. For the most part, this UI looks the same. This was a recent update where they did all these changes to make the UI look like this, basically like a video game. And that came out a few months ago. So all that's new is just some new features in this update. Something else that's huge in this update is this feature. Swipe the map over, take a look at this. Press this, set arrival energy. Now that is cool, look at this, see? So now you're able to set the state of charge that you wanna arrive with at your destination. So let's say you're going out of town, you don't wanna arrive with 5% or 10% because you, know, you wanna roam around town and stuff like that. Well now you're able to set that. So you can set it, okay, I want to arrive with 35% or let's say 60%. You can set that right there. Pretty cool. This is well thought out, much needed feature. And since we're still on the maps, here's another cool feature. Tap the screen, you have a new icon right here. Look at this. Now we press that, look at that. Now you have a live view of the weather. So you can see what the weather is going to be like to wherever you're traveling. Pretty cool, man, pretty cool. Tesla, you guys are doing an amazing job with these software updates. So here's another cool one, search along your route. So let's say you're navigating somewhere, maybe you wanted to go get a coffee or some fast food. Now it's automatically gonna filter those results to show you um, stuff that's along your route. So no longer you have to go out of your way just to find stuff. And um, all those results are gonna include the estimated detour times, as you can see right here. Another new feature is gonna be for the backup camera. You're gonna have rear cross traffic alert. Now you can't see anything on my screen now because I'm parked, but this is what it would look like on the app. So let's say something was, a car was coming behind you as you're backing out you would have those red lines that come on the side in the direction that the car is coming from or a pedestrian or whatever. Light show also received a huge update. So now I think you have more um, light shows that you can choose from, but the big update lies in the Tesla app. You can now schedule a light show from your Tesla app, which is huge. Did you guys ask for more games in the holiday update? Well, look at this, you have a new one. 
boomerang few. So it requires a controller to be played, so keep that in mind. So if you guys want to grab this controller, links are in the pinned comment and description. Like I said, tparts.com. Save 10% at checkout with my discount code LamarMK. So under service, we now have a new option, maintenance. Let's see what that's about. So as you can see right here, it's going to tell you when stuff was last done. So like your tire rotation, your wiper blades, HEPA filter, all of that cool stuff. It tells you when stuff is overdue and stuff like that. I don't know why it's telling me my tire rotation is overdue when I just did that. And as you can see, tire rotation done 3,500 miles ago. And right here you can see it recommends rotating the tires at 6,250 miles. So 3,500 miles is below that. So in the release notes, it tells you everything that's new in the updates for the car. So we have Apple Watch support. So now you can use your Apple Watch to unlock your Tesla. Pretty cool. Way before I had a Tesla, I knew this was a much requested feature. And it's great that they finally added it. Another huge part of this update is this feature right here, mobile app dashcam viewer. So now you can view all the dashcam clips from your smartphone and you can also save those clips directly to your phone as well. Something else in this update is let's say you're watching a movie in the web browser. Now you know once you go into drive it will kick you out so you can no longer hear or see that movie. Now what this is going to do is going to pause the video but it's still going to play the audio. So that's that new update right here. Plus whatever is being played in the browser will also be shown in the media card right here. There's another new feature under safety right here. So you can see lower volume in reverse. So when you turn that on, it means basically when you go into reverse, if you're playing music, it's going to automatically lower the volume so you can hear anything outside the vehicle. Some key things to note in the minor updates right here that they didn't mention anywhere else is that when you go to view the dash cam clips in the vehicle, it's now going to automatically skip to the part of the recorded event. So you no longer have to like search to find out where that sentry mode event kicked in. It's automatically going to bring you there. Um, something else right here is if someone tries to open the door or the front while sentry mode is active, you'll also receive a notification in your mobile app. So that is it for this update. I'm still on FSD 12.5.4.2. I don't have FSD 13 as yet. So what are your favorite features in this new holiday update? Drop a comment and let me know. So if you're in the market to buy a new Tesla Model Y or Model 3, I think that 0% interest rate ends in a few days. So definitely take advantage of that if you're in the market. Plus, if you use my referral link, that can save you up to $2,000 off a brand new Tesla, whether it be the Cybertruck, the Model S, X, 3 or Y. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share it with a friend, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.